topic of this video is properties of radicals, and specifically, properties needed to solve radical equations that contain variable expressions under the radicals. There are five properties we must know to be properly prepared to solve radical equations. Property one, when a radical and a non-radical are multiplied, the non-radical is written first and the radical is written last. Examples of property one, the square root of the difference x subtract two times eight would be written as eight times the square root of the difference x minus two. Notice that the multiplication dot has been removed. Three times the square root of the sum two x plus seven is equal to three times the square root of the sum two x plus seven. Notice that the multiplication dot has been removed. Property two, when a square root is multiplied by itself, it can be rewritten using an exponent of two then the square root and the square cancel each other out. Examples of property two. Square root of the sum x plus four times the square root of the sum x plus four equals the square root of the sum x plus four all in parentheses squared, which simplifies to simply x plus four. The square root of the difference three x minus seven times the square root of the difference three x minus seven equals the square root of the difference three x minus seven in parentheses squared which simplifies to 3x minus 7. Property 3. When like radicals with coefficients are added or subtracted, the radical part stays the same, and the coefficients are added or subtracted. Like radicals are radicals of the same type with the same expressions beneath them. Examples of property 3. 2 times the square root of the sum x plus 5 plus 2 times the square root of the sum x plus 5 equals four times the square root of the sum x plus five. Negative three times the square root of the sum x plus four minus three times the square root of the sum x plus four equals negative six times the square root of the sum x plus four. The square root of the sum two x plus one plus the square root of the sum two x plus one can be rewritten with a coefficient of one in front of each radical because anything times one is itself. So now we have one times the square root of the sum two x plus one plus one times the square root of the sum two x plus one equals two times the square root of the sum two x plus one. Properties four and five are related. They both involve a radical and a non-radical inside parentheses that are being squared. The difference is what is in between the radical and the non-radical. We will look at subtraction, shown here, addition, shown here, as well as multiplication, shown here. It is important to notice the difference between these three cases. Property four, when a radical and non-radical are being added or subtracted and are in parentheses raised to the second power, FOIL must be used. As a reminder, FOIL is an acronym that stands for First, outer, inner, last. Example of property four, subtraction. The square root of the difference, x subtract two, minus eight, all in parentheses, squared, must be rewritten as the square root of the difference, x minus two, minus eight, all in parentheses, times the square root of the difference, x minus two, minus eight, all in parentheses, and then foiled. First, we do the F part of FOIL, which is the first. So the two radicals are multiplied. Notice that I've color coded this. So the red times the purple. The O, the outer part of FOIL, is the red times the orange. Notice that the sign, which is subtraction inside the second set of parentheses, shows up as a negative sign when written using the FOIL method. The I inside is the blue times the purple. And again, the subtraction sign inside the first set of parentheses becomes a negative sign when written in the new format. And finally, the L part of FOIL last is the blue times the orange, where we see one last time that the subtraction signs become negative. This creates four product pairs, one, two, three, 
Notice that between each product pair, we have placed a plus sign. This is part of the FOIL process. Some of those plus signs will turn into subtraction signs in future steps. Now we begin to simplify. A square root times itself can be written with an exponent of 2. A radical and a non-radical multiplied, we put the non-radical first and the radical last. Same thing is true here for the blue times the purple. And of course, negative 8 times negative 8 is positive 64. Next, we're going to simplify. The square and the square root cancel, leaving simply x plus 2. Here, we combine the like radicals by combining the coefficients. Negative 8 and negative 8 makes negative 16. The radical does not change. And then, of course, we still have plus 64. Finally, we combine the numbers together. The negative 2 and the positive 64 make a positive 62. So we get the final result, x plus 62 minus 16 times the square root of the difference, x minus 2. Example of property 4, addition. This time, we have the square root of the sum, x plus 1, plus 3, all in parentheses, squared. This time, instead of reading the solution out loud to you, please pause this video, review it on your own, and then resume when you are done. All right, property five. When a radical and a non-radical are being multiplied and are in parentheses raised to the second power, FOIL must not be used. Instead, the base should be duplicated, reordered, multiplied, and simplified. Example of property 5. At 8 times the square root of the difference x minus 2, all in parentheses squared, must be rewritten as 8 times the square root of the difference x minus 2 times 8 times the square root of the difference x minus 2. Notice that everything is being multiplied. Because multiplication is commutative, it can be done in any order. So we can rearrange these four factors to be in the, the order shown here. Notice that the non-radicals have been put together and the radicals have been put together. So we have 8 times 8 times the square root of the difference x minus 2 times the square root of the difference x minus 2. Now 8 times 8 makes 64 and the two radicals can be combined using an exponent of 2. The square and the square root cancel leaving x minus 2 which must be placed in parentheses and 64 times the difference x minus 2 becomes 64x minus 128. Notice that property 5 uses property 2. This concludes our discussion of the five properties needed to solve radical equations.